starting point, which is the root or the tonic. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That is an octave in the key of C, and that's the formula. You use that formula for any major key. <clears throat> so, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's the formula. Let's say I was supposed to do it in another key. Let's say I start on C, D, E, F. Let's say I start on F. Start at the root or the tonic. still get that sound of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. That's the sound you're trying for, for a major scale. That's what a major scale sounds like. So, memorize, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now let's go back to the whole steps and the half steps again. From here to here is a half step. Two half steps make a whole step. So from here is a whole step interval. From here to here, half step, half step. Two half steps is a whole step. Right? From here to here, half step and half step. Right? So. Once you get that clear in your head, then you can actually do a number of things. So that's not something small to kind of overlook. It'll come up a lot. Knowing the distance between notes is most usually counted in half steps. The distance between notes is called the interval. The interval between here and here is one, two, three, four half steps. This is a half step from here. That's a half step, that's a half step, and that's a half step. Four half steps is major third. Major third. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, if I went from here, it's still one, two, three, but it's not a major third because it's not four half steps. It's only one, two, three half steps, so it's a minor third. Hear the difference? So, let's see what we can do with what we know already. We have, um, let's see.
that's staying in the key of C. That's when we're using a different terminology for the word of the word key. Now I'm not talking about the keys on the keyboard. I'm talking about the key that we're playing in. We're playing in a sound that rests on C. That's when you feel like you come to the end of the sound and it rests. And it can start again. But when it ends. So we're in the key of C because that's where it sounds like it rests. All right, and that's the tonic. So now we can review. We can have we start at C. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, step, half step. Okay. We can translate that into other keys, starting on another note as the tonic like we did before, F. Okay. Try it on different notes and see if you can keep that formula. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And we'll pick up where we left off. 